so today i will tell the physical meaning of physical significance of field factor in solar cells so if we have a look on the jv curve of a solar cell we can have certain type of behavior you can see this behavior you can have this type of behavior also you can see s type kink so basically the area under these two curve are different you can see out uh, if we go for a uh, some good solar cell you can see this good solar cell will have iv curve or jv curve uh, more closer to a square or more closer to a rectangle so that kind of behavior so that means exponentiality is lower in this iv curve okay so this is a good solar cell not ideal but a good solar cell so in this solar cell if i if i show you all the parameters what is vm what is uh, voc so you can see out all the parameters are being shown so voc is uh, shown by voc and jc have been shown by a blue color rectangle and vm and jm are a, a red color rectangle so voc into jc or blue color rectangle is the power produced by our cell in if if our cell is ideal okay in ideal condition our cell have produced voc into jc power okay uh, whereas our cell is actually producing is area under this curve area under this curve is what our solar cell is producing okay uh, voc or jc in, voc into jc is not the power which is produced by our cell it is the power which is produced when our cell is if our cell is ideal okay okay now uh, this is the power produced by a cell in our ideal condition okay and now at what power is delivered to the load so the this red color rectangle is the power delivered to the load okay so vm into jm is the power delivered to the load so area of these two or uh, so ratio of these two ratio of the power produced in ideal condition uh, and ratio of the power uh, delivered to the load so that is being given by fill factor so you can see out fill factor equation is written here v, vm into jm by voc into jc this is the this is the fill factor equation so in simple terms okay Uh, uh, graphically, we know field factor like this. Okay, now you see the second equation. Efficiency is given by Vm into Jm by P input. So, what is power input and what is the power output? So, Vm into Jm is the power output of the load. So, Vm into Jm is also written as Voc into Jc. So, Voc into Jc is the power produced ideally, and our field factor uh, is some certain term. Field factor is some certain term. Okay, which is less than one. Okay, which is less than one. So, Voc also out of Voc into Jc, we are only utilizing a part of Voc into Jc. not completely okay so that's what the fill factor is so physically if we go what the fill factor is physically fill factor is a term which is uh, telling us how our how our solar cell is how good our solar cell is uh, in terms of extracting out the voltage and extracting out the current so uh, if i tell you uh, some certain conditions are there some certain recombination mechanisms are there which only affect voltage some certain recombination are there which only affect uh current so say absorption only affect current absorption will have largely largely majorly impact on your current values okay similarly fill factor define define those kind of recombination mechanism which impact our voltage and current combinedly okay so that's what the fill factor uh, physical sense of fill factor comes into okay so internal recombination is one parameter which affect uh both voltage and current okay so we'll see in detail here so after that we can see uh how our efficiency is dependent upon various parameters efficiency majorly uh, depend upon voltage current and fill factors okay so voltage depend upon your back contact so back contact means uh, if there is any secondary junction if there is short key barrier you know by that will affect out our uh, voltage A surface recombination velocities will affect out doping profile or doping concentration. If the doping concentration is high, that means built-in voltage will be high, and then that means voltage will be high. Interface defect or internal recombination that will again uh, impact out the voltage. Okay. For current absorption, so if absorption high, current will be higher. Okay. Similarly, SRV and carrier mobilities these will impact your current values. Now comes come for field factor. So field factor is de dependent upon RS and RSH. So RS is series resistance. Series resistance if it is higher, that means uh, obstruction for current flow or obstruction for transport. carrier transport that will affect out your current values so fill factor depend upon series resistance sun resistance rsh is the internal recombination sun resistance signify the internal recombination if their internal recombination high that means all the generated electron hole pairs will recombine back through those recombination uh, recombination paths pathways okay so sun resistance is low if sun resistance is low all those will recombine back so voltage generation will be zero so so uh, these combinedly rss rss will will impact both uh, voltage and current and then thus fill factor so fill factor majorly given by rss and rss, RSS values so you can directly see the impact of uh, varying rss and rss rss 
and our serial resistance and resistance directly on field factor okay. then field factor again depend upon those um, those parameter which affect combinedly voc and jc so carrier concentration and then cbo's conduction band offset or internal inter interfacial recombination so interfacial recombination will provide a, a short circuit path for voc loss and for uh, 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 current losses okay. so field factor mainly i have explained the physical meaning of uh, field factor now comes uh, some certain uh, design parameter you can see field factor if this resistance series resistance basically if it is lower field factor will be high okay sun resistance should be high that means internal uh, so series resistance low means current should be current should not be affected okay sun resistance should be high that means voltage should not be affected okay? and if these two condition maintain then our field factor will be higher okay and doping should be high so doping should be high that means our field factor will be higher so for high field factor for good field factor what should be the condition series should be low sun resistance should be high and doping should be high for current values band gap should be low uh, if the band gap is low more more current will generate okay diffusion length should be high and doping should be less for voltage you can see band gap should be high and doping should be high so you can see doping is a parameter which is trade off kind of thing so for field factor and for voltage uh, to be higher doping should be high and for current to be higher doping should be low so we we have to choose certain range of doping some optimal range of doping so that everything maintains everything maintains the optimal value so let us let us have a look on the doping profile so if the doping is high what will happen resistance will be low or conductivity will be high that is good point mobility will be low affect the current diffusion length will be low affect the current lifetime of the carrier will be low affect the current but doping is higher built in voltage will be higher that means our voltage will be higher okay so doping is a kind of trade off point we have to find out okay so there are like this there are many uh, uh, device parameter device design parameters which we have to look into for controlling our field factor to being higher so that our internal recombination should be low which imp which impact both voc and jc so you can see have the other design parameter like thickness absorption coefficient uh hetero junction band alignment surface recombination velocities defect profiles secondary junction etc so all those parameter will uh, try to have impact on both the current and uh, voltage so now i think this is clear uh, how what field factor is so you can see uh, for a good solar cell iv curve behavior for a little bit um, poor solar cell you can see this iv curve uh, for a worse iv curve you can see or telling us that the extraction of voltage and current is um, uh, reducing out uh so so uh, let me go to the material aspect material aspect of the device you can see out uh, material aspect like uh, for a device like cjts as an absorber or perovskite as an absorber absorber you can see electronic structure dielectric constant effective mass band bo band bonding characters so th those will define out define out the basic electronic characteristic of the device so that will impart some properties like optical properties like defect properties like transport properties so optical properties will be like band gap absorption coefficient so they, these should be like these these are highly uh, important for a solar cell then defect properties like trap density binding energy capture cross section so these are so defect properties will affect out your voc generation optical property will affect out your uh, current generation and uh, in 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 these this defect property will control your transport properties like material uh, carry mobility carry lifetime okay this will again impact your jsc values okay i have given the doi at uh, the below so now this is about the material aspect all about material aspect all about device aspect so if we go for solar cell in terms of ideal condition in terms of theoretical condition one can read this paper by martin green this is paper solar cell field factors you can see this is the shockley diode equation written for a solar cell and this is being modified to give equation in terms of field factor so this field factor equation is uh, modified and written sim simplified and written in, in this term so this fourth equation of four field factors get a dependence directly on voc so voc is the normalized voc is it is uh, open circuit voltage divided by thermal voltage so that is what the voc is here is okay so this field factor equation is dependent upon the uh, normalized voltage in when there is no internal recombination that means rs series resistance value is zero and sun resistance value is infinite so when there is no internal recombination when there is a condition is ideal then field factor dependent upon voltage or band gap is being shown is being uh, calculated and if i show you field factor on band gap you can see out how the band gap is how the field factor is, is increasing in, in with band gap 
in ideal condition so this is this this will this is dependence this dependence upon upon in ideal condition when there is no material parameter been taken care only only uh, ideal uh, condition is being considered so you can see uh, for solar cell below one below one eb band gap you can see how the fill factor is uh, rapidly increasing or it's lower okay lower than basically 80% so you can see out why we are not choosing solar cells with low band gap okay so beyond one band gap the fill factor is quite good so and it is increasing with as the as band gap is increasing okay so if i show you tabulated value of these fill factor dependence on band gap you can see out these values so at one band gap the fill factor is 85% and it is increasing thereafter okay so uh, why we are not going for uh, solar cell uh, like 0.3 electron volt or 0.4 electron volt band gap and solar cell 0.5 0.6 because those values will have lower fill factor values okay thus uh, lower overall efficiency generation power generation okay so that's why we the optimal range will be say from 1 electron volt and higher 1 to 2 electron volt one can choose okay so that's all about fill factor if you have any uh, come, uh suggestion if you have any questions if you have any query or if you have any like you want to add something to this discussion please share comment and please do subscribe the channel and please uh, thank you for listening thank you